So I'm going to try using the razor back a little bit here. I guess I should crank this game volume down like a ton. I'm still sure this is very loud for you guys. It's actually pretty much turned off for me. I can barely even hear it. Oh, the headshots are real. So a few people have actually talked to me and said they want me to like change my intro song. I guess they didn't like the fact that it's Taylor Swift, which I mean, yes, I understand it's Taylor Swift, but really, I mean, it's a dubstep remix. I honestly think the dubstep drop is probably one of the best out there. In my personal opinion, I love it. I think the sound just is an awesome sound to it. I mean, my friend spent, well, former friend, he didn't even like me, but he made the intro just, just to be nice, I guess. I don't know. He made the intro, and it took him about three or four hours to make, so, I mean, definitely took effort. It's not some cheesy little intro or something. 1v1. Yeah. Kill confirmed. Oh, it's a 2v2 now. I don't know if you guys have ever used Long Barrel in this game. It's actually ridiculously good, I believe. Yeah, I learned a few days ago that it, like, doubles the range on assault rifles, basically. So, you know, when this gun would normally drop off, it's four-shot kill range. And as you're just getting five-shot kill, it's basically always a four-shot kill now. What do you guys think of the gun balance in Black Ops 3? Personally, I think it's actually really good. Like, all of the SMGs, for the most part, seem really usable. Just, they're all good. It's, I don't know how they managed to do it. They did. I mean, they seem balanced enough and we're gonna lag out. Alright, so level 50, right? This is my second time in playing this game that I've actually had a host migration where I didn't lag out. That's when you know you have a lag game right there. Oh, I don't wanna have a fist for here. No, we're not fisting anybody today. Done. Finally got him. Oh my god, the jump. That's one thing I noticed that was really retarded. I actually died from fall damage because I was trying to jump shot a guy the other day. And I tweeted at Vonderhaar and I said, you know, there shouldn't be fall damage in a game where there's a booster pack. Because, I mean, you're going to... Wow. Wow. Really? That's not right. Well, we're out of that lobby. Hey, I, I tweeted, anyway, I tweeted out at Vonderhaar basically saying that, you know, you shouldn't be able to die from fall damage, which, I mean, fall damage doesn't seem to affect you much. It's either you have to be at a really high height, you know, boost off a building, and then you fall to the ground even further below, and you didn't doesn't seem like you take too much fall damage from it, even. It's just the idea of you get wounded and you can die just from jumping up. Like, that's, I think that's really dumb, personally. I don't believe there's a perk that actually makes it so you don't take fall damage. Just because they made it a kind of minor thing, I guess they thought it wouldn't matter, but it seemed really stupid to me. I think they should take that out. They definitely need to buff the stock and assault rifles in this game. I just realized that the timer, you guys see, down there, the bottom left, is still at 40. Let's count down with it, guys. 40. 40. 40. Is it just stuck there? What is wrong with this game? This game is just broken. Now, I want to bring up the question. Do you guys... Is it really about to give me this failed to host lobby bullshit? Okay, guys. Let's try free run. Can we host free run? Can, can we host free run, please? Is that too much to ask for? All right, let's. Work. I guess we're gonna be playing zombies today. I'm not sure what I was saying as I started talking. What I cut scenes started playing, but I actually cut it out because the first time I did a playthrough on this map, I actually ended up getting. Well, it wasn't a copyright strike, but it's like I, it was a copyright claim on my video, and it got taken down immediately by Activision because I played that cutscene, which I mean, I don't understand why a cutscene in a game is going to be copyrighted, like, you'd think it would be, like, music that gets copyrighted or something like that, but no. Well, wasn't any music in the cutscene, which is just strange, but... I guess it was because it was, like, the girl tying the guy up or whatever. I don't know, I was even making funny comments during my first playthrough. I was like, guys, this is why you don't let a girl handcuff you or whatever. Don't mess with girls with handcuffs. Anyway, this game is interrupting me a lot here. What I was trying to say is, do you guys actually like seeing Black Ops 3? Would you guys mind if I go back to Black Ops 2? I've been posting it just because I assume you guys like it. Like, yeah, I enjoy the game a little bit. But to be honest, I think Black Ops 2 is a better game overall. Like, they didn't even have as much time to make it. They just, they made it better. They made it, I don't even know if I'd say Black Ops 2 is more balanced. I like the maps better. I like the killstreaks a whole lot better. I very much love the FAL. And that's, I think, what's kind of fun about Call of Duty. I don't know if you guys noticed, like, MW2 is a really unbalanced game, but it's fun. It's fun to use the SCAR. It's fun to use the FAL if you have a really good trigger finger. It's fun to run out the UMP and two-shot people. There's so much just fun stuff to do. Hell, it's even fun to snipe in that game. And I don't, I'm not really much of a sniper. Like, that game is just so much fun to, to play in general. Sometimes it's fun if you want to mess around. You put on the bear and spam it as fast as your heart desires. It's just a very fun game. Black Ops 2 wasn't that balanced, but it was kind of fun, you know, if you wanted to, I mean, I was personally not an advocate of sniping, it's not my thing, but if you wanted to snipe, it was relatively easy to do, I mean, I would, I, I'd like to say that the aim assist does it for you, it's not really the case, though, it's just a kind of easy thing to do overall, 
And I don't know if you guys knew a trick here, but uh, there's just gonna be a guy up there when the game starts, and if you shoot him enough times, the vandals actually skip to 15. I was thinking about doing that for like a challenge video. If you guys want to see some zombies, you know, drop a like on this video, and I might do some more of it. Kuda. We're gonna get the Kuda don't you dare Let's grenade this guy. I don't really want to mess around here. How's that for a show That's some stopper. points right there. I mean, it was a waste because I could have gotten headshots, but you know, if you don't know for a gun, you don't have enough for a gun. One thing I really like what they did with zombies here is they made the wall weapons actually, like, good. Like, look at this ammo count. It's actually pretty accurate. It reloads relatively fast. The MP5 from, like, Black Ops 1 would have 120 rounds reserved. This has about double that. Just let me know down in the comments section, what is it you actually like to see? Do you guys prefer seeing, you know, Black Ops 2 ridiculous game? Prefer seeing, like, Black Ops 3 gameplay, you know, even though it's not as good. You know, it's Girl just a new game, yes. so it's, you know, different. Because I know a lot of people are sick of Black Ops 2 and stuff. I could do older CODs. I actually was thinking about doing a challenge video on MW2. Maybe I could get a few friends for it. I'm not going to say what it is, but, okay. you know, I could probably I do that pretty soon. It just depends. Do you guys really want to see Black Ops 3 just because it's a new game?